Hello and welcome to the Archie Luxury Program. Today I'd like to talk about Benz ripoffs. That's right, Mercedes Benz ripoffs. And these are true stories that have been conveyed to me by friends of Archie as well as Archie himself. And, uh, you know, I've, I've been looking around for a prestige car and one thing I can't stand is dealers who gouge the customer. And I've got to be completely honest there, you know. I think Benz, you know, Benz is just such a beautiful, you know, brand of car. I love the brand. I love the recognition. But fuck do they gouge their customers. And uh, I've got a couple examples of some gouging. I'd like to talk to you about this. Now, you know, a, uh, a good friend of Archie's got a very similar, uh, <clears throat> when Archie had an E320, it was a W211, okay? So that's sort of a... Uh, it's about 2004, 2005 model, and uh, anyhow, what happened is the uh, it's got a it's got a switch there for the the driver's headrest. Okay, it's got a switch to lower or, or raise the driver's headrest. And what happened was, uh, I think one of the um, one of the drivers at some stage had a uh, a long sleeve shirt, and it got caught under that switch, and it broke. The switch off. Now, it's not actually anything electronic that's broken. It's the little plastic switch, the little plastic thing, the uh, the headrest up and down thing goes on. And uh, you could put a uh, a paper clip there, and it went up and down. It, it nothing was broken. But uh, anyhow, they went to their Benz dealer and said, "Look, this is broken. What's it cost?" You know, they were expecting you know twenty, thirty, forty dollars. And the dealer turned around and said it's about eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred fucking dollars for a fucking switch. And the reason why it's so expensive is because they can't just put a new little plastic switch in. They've got to take the whole door apart. They've got to take the whole console out. That's the all the remote bits for the for the for the seats. And it's just a complete fucking disaster. 800 fucking dollars to fix something like that. I mean, that's just, I don't know what to say. And I mean, this is the same dealer who's got a chef on staff who make meals for the customers. And, you know, they've got a chef quality food they, they give you when you service your bends. But fuck do they gouge you. I mean, that's just fucking rude. Okay. And uh, the next story is that when Archie... Um, was talking to a friend about buying a new C-Class. Archie's friend, who's got a 2005-2006 W211 E500. And uh, that's a pretty good Merc, that. That's a V8 Merc. And anyhow, what happened was, Archie was uh, talking to him and he said, Oh, yeah, by the way, Mercedes-Benz quoted me over $1,500 to change the battery over 1500 to change the battery so Archie you know Archie was you know this is when Archie was test driving the C200 he said to the dealer what the fuck is this he said what the fuck is a over $1500 charge to change a battery in an E500 and sure enough the dealer said oh no that's not the case he the dealer went and checked it and yep it was the case and uh, to make the story worse there, what had actually happened was the car was a very low mileage Benz, uh, had about 50,000 kilometres on it and it hadn't been used a lot and uh, the, uh, the guy brought it back because it had a few little niggling faults. <laughs> The Benz technician traced it to the battery and said it needs a new battery, which is over, I think it was fifteen or 1600 bucks. The guy immediately said, that's fucking ridiculous. Just put the car back together and I'll pick it up. And they said that'll be $400, sir, for fault finding. And uh, that's pretty fucking mean. And, um, yep. And the, the interesting thing is, is that what he did was he, he, he took the car back and he just, just, just charged it up, used it a bit, <clears throat> and the battery system went back to normal. So he didn't even need to replace the battery, but that Benz diagnosis was fucking expensive. And, you know, the dealer themselves there, they won't let you take your Benz back unless you pay that service fee. So, you know, that's, that's another example of fucking Benz price gouging. 
And uh, a final story to all the uh, aspiring Ben's owner is a, is a friend of Archie's who um, who bought an S320. This is the the um, it was sort of like a uh, I think it was a 2002. It was a W220. Okay, W220, which I, I think is one of the best looking S classes that's ever been produced. And uh, it's got the hydraulic suspension, you know, it, it's, it, it lifts up, it's got the airbag suspension. And uh, a friend of Archie's bought this car, uh, I think it had about 50,000 kilometres on it. They bought it second hand, it was a couple years old. And uh, I think they paid about 60 for it. Um, <clears throat> this was a couple years ago. And then one day, the guy went to start the fucking thing, and the computer said, fault with the suspension and that fucking fault the airbag suspension can you believe this it ended up costing 28 fucking thousand dollars to fix and that's not using Benz that that was going through a third party company and uh, I think the dealer was about thirty six thousand dollars to fix that fault and I mean Fucking hell, I mean, that's just expensive for a, for a car like that. I mean, you expect, you know, a, a big S320, you know, that's a, that's a fucking beautiful car. To have to pay prices like that to fix things, that's fucking criminal. And, um, yeah, that's kind of shattered the Ben's dream for Archie. I mean... Fuck, when you hear about repair costs like that on a Mercedes, it's just fucking eye-watering type repairs. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me about your Ben's service rip-off. Thank you.